Hi, I'm Nick from Square Kicker, a design and animation extension for Squarespace websites. I'm excited to share with you one of Squarespace's biggest updates. Introducing Fluid Engine, the new content editing experience for Squarespace 7.1 websites. In this video, I will give you a detailed overview of the most important things that you need to know about Fluid Engine and some tips and tricks to get you up to speed so you can start building some incredible sites right away. Fluid Engine is a drag and drop editing system for Squarespace page, section, and blocks. Unlike Squarespace's earlier version, called the Classic Editor, which uses columns and rows to position content in a section, Fluid Engine is built using the latest CSS grid technology. Combined with Squarespace's easy to use platform, Fluid Engine makes Squarespace one of the most advanced and intuitive drag and drop website editors. With this new editor, you will have more flexibility for block placement, overlapping, and resizing. If that wasn't exciting enough, Fluid also gives you the flexibility to position and resize blocks for mobile sites, which is arguably the most important screen size to design for. To add a new Fluid Engine section, click Edit and Add Section. You can add a blank section or select from the list of pre-built page layouts. Every new section is Fluid Engine unless the section has an eye icon in the top right corner of the page layout. This means that this section is an auto layout or gallery section that doesn't use Fluid Engine. You can also create a new blank page or select a pre-built page from the list of page layouts. These page layouts will contain Fluid Engine sections. If you have an existing classic section that you want to use Fluid Engine on, you can upgrade this to a Fluid Engine section. We will go over this process in more detail in our next video on converting your Squarespace website to Fluid Engine. To add a block to the Fluid Engine section, Enter edit mode and click the add block button in the top left corner of your section. When you select a block, it will appear on the left side of your screen, or you can drag a block into your section right away. There is no limit to the number of blocks you can have on a section, but it's recommended to not have more than 60 to prevent your site from running slowly, particularly on mobile browsers. Arranging blocks is by far the most exciting feature on Fluid Engine. Hover over the block you want to move you will see the block highlight with a blue outline. Click and drag the block to the desired position. When you drag the block, you will see a grid guideline appear in the background of the section. As you move your block around the section, you will see the block outline snap to the section grid. When you release, it will snap to the closest grid. If you release a block beyond the grid width, the block will snap to the edge of your section. You can also select multiple blocks and move them as a group. You cannot drag a block up or down to overlap another section, but don't worry, you can use Square Kicker for this. If you drag a block down past the defined grid area, this will add more rows to your grid, increasing the height of your section. When you release the block, the grid guidelines will disappear. To make this grid stay visible at all times, press the G on your keyboard to toggle the grid on and off. I'll share more details about the grid later on in this video. Another useful feature is the ability to move blocks using the arrow up and down keys. Select the block and use the arrow up or down to move the block around the grid on your section. Another exciting feature for Fluid Engine is the ability to overlap blocks. If a block overlaps another block, you will see block layer icons in the block toolbar. To change which block is lying on top, select the block and click one of these icons to bring the block to the front or behind the other blocks, or hold shift and use the up and down arrow keys. You can make a block bigger or smaller by clicking the block and then dragging one of the squares on the block outline. This will increase or decrease the height or width of the block. Some blocks will have different behaviors when resizing because each block has a specific minimum height or width, such as a form block or an accordion block. With Fluid Engine, some blocks will have the ability to have a background color. To set a background color, Open up the Blocks Design tab by first clicking on the pencil icon in the Blocks toolbar and then toggle on the background switch. This will immediately add a background color to your block. When the background toggle is enabled, you'll be provided with the options for a corner radius or padding options. To align the content in a block, click on the alignment icons in the Blocks toolbar and set the horizontal or vertical alignment of the block's content. These options are only available on image or button if they've been set to fit. Did you know that over half of the traffic on websites is from mobile devices? With this in mind, 
you should spend just as much time designing how your site will look on smaller screen sizes. Thanks to Fluid Engine, you have control to arrange and resize blocks specifically for mobile screens. Click on the mobile icon in the top right corner of your site. In this view, you can rearrange and resize blocks on your section for mobile screens. This will not change the size or position of your blocks on the desktop layout. However, other styles such as font sizes and colors will be applied both to desktop and mobile layouts. By default, blocks are automatically stacked in mobile in the order in which they were created, but these can be repositioned and resized for mobile by clicking and dragging on the blocks. To quickly rearrange blocks, you can click on the block and then click on the up or down button that will swap the block's position with the block above or below. Alternatively, you can hold Option and clip the up and down arrow keys to rearrange blocks, or on a PC, hold the Alt key. To change the Fluid Engine section settings, click on the Edit section in the top right corner of your section you want to style. If you've selected a block, you may not be able to see the section toolbar until you click off the block. In the Format tab, you will be presented with the options to adjust the grid and height of your section. Row count sets the number of rows in the grid. This is the only section setting that can be defined differently on desktop and mobile, and the minimum number of rows is relevant to the arrangement of the blocks in a section. Gap sets the spacing between the grid, so you can space blocks apart from each other when positioned on the grid. You can select no gap, a preset defined gap, or select the three dots to set a specific vertical and horizontal gap. When the fill screen toggle is enabled, extra padding will be applied to set the minimum viewport height of the section. S is 25% of a screen, M is 50, and L is 100% of the viewport height. You can also select the three dots to select a custom minimum viewport height. The alignment setting sets the vertical alignment of the grid within the viewport height. Fluid Engine is the most intuitive, modern, and flexible way to build a website. Not only does it give you the control to create some really impressive sites, but for the first time on Squarespace, you have the ability to craft a unique experience just for your mobile website. If you already have a Squarespace website with classic sections, you may want to understand the difference between the two and how this affects your site. Watch our next video on converting your Squarespace website to Fluid Engine.